The valedictory service attended by the 109 senators and presided over by Senate President David Mark gave senators the opportunity to review and reflect on the experience from June 4, 2011 to date. Senators, including the leader of the House, Senator Ndoma Egba, during their remarks, thanked their colleagues for the friendship and mutual respect during the period and appreciated Senate President David Mark for his unique leadership qualities that gave them the platform to express themselves during plenary for the past four years. I do so, knowing the privilege of my membership of the Hallowed Chambers. I do so in gratitude for the com com uh, companionship that gave me a definition. I leave you all very proud, but I leave when the ovation is loudest. And I'm happy that I have been able to achieve a whole lot for my constituents and for the people of Nigeria. I've been able to lend my voice to national issues. In the course of the work, no doubt, I must have offended some people, be it like members of my committee or the general public, uh, my constituents, or the members in the National Assembly. For those that I offended, please, I want to crave your indulgence so that you forgive me. It was at the pleasure of this uh, leadership that I became the Senate Committee Chairman on Power, Steel Development and Methodology, which gave me a lot of exposition to display some God-given talents and to lead that committee. I appointed myself as your coordinator. <laughs> you were surprised when you came to Benway. It shows the maturity. It shows the work of God in between two of you. Thank you, Mr. President, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. And I thank uh, the people within the Phoenix Kingdom. And I pray the Almighty God which the next Senate President David Mark, while rounding off the 7th Senate, read out some of the achievements during the four-year legislative session. He said the House, during the legislative session, introduced 591 bills, out of which 123 were passed, with others at various stages of legislative processing and considerations. Senator David Mark didn't fail to acknowledge the unflinching support of members of the 7th Senate who he said gave him the matter to serve as Senate President for the period. In spite of the difficult political and economic climate within which we worked, and despite our internal challenges, we can end this Senate convinced that we represented our constituents and Nigerians with the most noble of intentions and to the best of our abilities. I must confess that within the last four years, we have matured politically. That was why when some senators defected from one political party to the other, we still maintained one united single Senate. A minute silence was held for the repose of souls of the departed colleagues. May the souls of our departed colleagues, of our departed colleagues rest Perfect Amen. Amongst the bills considered and passed during the 7th Assembly, which began in June 4, 2011, are bills that have far-reaching impact on policy, such as Occupation Safety and Health Bill, the Pension Reforms Act Amendment Repeal and Reenactment Bill, same-sex marriage prohibition bill, administration of criminal justice bill, violent against persons prohibition bill, discrimination against persons with disability prohibition bill, terrorism prevention act 2011 bill, proceeds of crime bill, amongst others. Senate President David Mark, however, regretted that the Senate could not pass the petroleum industry bill. The 8th Senate will formally convene on Tuesday, 9th June 2015. Sharon Ajay reporting. <laughs>